Hi all, it's uh, Friday afternoon, April 5th, 2013. I thought, what better day than today when it's kind of slow and there's not a lot of stuff going on and the weather's not too perfect. I thought it would be a good day to review and discuss my Fisher Paykel 30 inch convection oven that I purchased in July of last year and actually had to wait till uh, October to take delivery. But I've been able to use it about six months and I wanted to give a report today on my uh, findings and my thoughts and as you can see the Fisher Paykel name on it. And Fisher Paykel is a pretty uh, is a pretty nice name in uh, kitchen cooking. It's not as uh, not nearly as expensive as Wolf or Viking, but uh, I have to tell you overall, I've really been thrilled at my uh, at my Fisher Paykel stove and oven. You know, one of the reasons I bought this oven is because I do a lot of uh, baking. And I wanted to have more precise control over how things brown and cook. And the Fisher Paykel oven has a switch that not only gives you light on just straight light, if you want that inside of the oven, but it also it also gives you light and a fan. And you can see that turned on. And what that does is give you much more precise browning. Now, I will confess, this was a $2,300 oven. I mean, compared to three, four, five hundred G dollar GE ovens, sure, it was quite a uh, quite a price to pay. But if you're a serious baker and uh, bread maker like I am, it's really a fair price to uh, pay for an oven. Now, when I first got the Fisher, uh, when I first got the Fisher Pie Cal oven installed, the uh, cooktop, it's all one piece unit, but it had to require the uh, the local guy from the local repair company, the local appliance repair company, to come out and actually adjust it because the first couple weeks I was using it, either the uh, jets, the uh, natural gas jets, or something had to be adjusted. Because I literally almost asphyxiated myself with the uh, with the smell in here, the first couple of weeks, and I thought, you know, if I don't get somebody in here to adjust this, I'm gonna die in here. So I called the uh, company to come at the appliance repair company, and they're like, oh, you know, we can get somebody out there in two or three days, maybe, to get a look at it. Uh, they said, what kind of uh, brand of uh, stove and oven is and I said a Fisher Paykel 30 inch convection oven. <laughs> Do you know they said we're going to have somebody out there in 30 minutes to uh, check that out for you. So they did. You pay a little more for uh, a Fisher Paykel oven and any great oven but what you get is that warranty service is unsurpassed. So my uh, guy from the appliance repair place came out. He pulled the uh, knobs off and he did a jet adjustment in there and I've never had a problem with uh, clean burning before. As you can see it has the uh, five burner cooktop with the uh, with the rear with the, with the front and rear and you can see the inner and outer rings which I really love for more horsepower when you're heating something up if you want to really give a fast flame and a lot of heat and it's also got the simple traditional controlling unit in the back but what I also love is it's got this uh, it's got this wok unit on it and you can sit a wok in that ring and holy smokes you can also turn it up to blast that uh, outer ring too and it is uh, it is so cool and uh, you talk about cooking like in a Chinese restaurant faster I mean top of the line so it has the five burners it has the multiple stainless uh, racks here and yeah it is a big big oven and as I say, you can see the fan turn on there and everything, and I've had great results cooking with it. It kind of disturbed my friend Janet because uh, she came over to heat some things up, and she's like, "Where's the uh, where's the timer and where's the uh, temperature control?" Well, you know, in a lot of uh, professional restaurants, you don't have all the what I call the idiot lights and gauges and things that you have on traditional home ranges. On well, this one has a very simple setting here that tells you if you're going to have the fan on, what to set the oven, 
temperature too to achieve the same result like uh, you know if you're having it low it's the same but if you get you know there's adjustments you make there and you can set the uh, temperature here now you do have to open the door when you turn the oven on and you can hear that firing and I just heard the flame on so and then then you close the door it has a nice broil on that so I'm gonna close that again there but yeah there's no timer on it I mean there is a um, you know I guess theoretically you could do a time but I just use my you know professional cooks don't use timers and things like that and uh, you know I don't either I've never needed it I have a great sense when you smell it, it's getting that done but uh, for me it's no uh, it's no problem and below you know it has the uh, broil and the uh, storage area there so uh, I love it so far so good yeah I paid a little more than a typical uh, oven for it but I do a lot more than most people do in the way of uh, baking and doing things like that uh, making my own bread. And I like something that gives that precise control over brownness so you don't have hot spots or anything like that. That's what makes it an expensive oven. Also the outstanding service and I think I've got a five-year warranty on this just for starters and a 10-year on parts. So am I happy six months in? You bet. Thanks for watching.